Hello, I'm Cryptic Mac Genius, and I am bringing you yet another video. Uh, today's video, I will be showing you how, or not how to, but what programs Mac uses and Windows doesn't, or I should say, like your Internet Explorer under a Mac is called Safari right there um, Outlook Express or Outlook the full version is called Mail and Mail is a phenomenal program uh, iChat is essentially AIM but with a lot more toys like video share between an iChat account um, I know AIM can do that but it also has screen share, which is a very nice feature. Um, QuickTime, Windows doesn't have. Vista has a shadow copy, but it's not anything like Time Machine. Sorry if I said QuickTime to begin with. It is Time Machine. Um, they have nothing that can compare to it. Um, preview. Preview is my favorite program because you can open anything in it. PDFs like this. I'll open up a PDF and it opens up in Preview. Okay? Well, I can also open up a photo and it opens up in Preview. But one nice thing Windows doesn't have, Mac does, is called Quick View. Okay, I highlighted my. Uh, file there and I'm gonna just tap my spacebar see how it pops up there just boom instantly and it works for anything photo an mp3 you know anything just boom that quick video that's the video I just uploaded not too long ago <clears throat> Anyways, uh, that was Quick View and Preview. Photo Booth. Photo Booth allows you to use the built in iSight camera unless you have a Mac Pro or a Mac Mini, then you don't have a built in iSight. Um, but it's just a simple program. Nah, <laughs> I'll let you see me. Um, that allows you to take photos, uh, video, you can also add effects to it, blah blah blah. I'm in a tunnel, I mean, wow that's a creepy one. Anyways, I need to get back on track here. As you can see, uh, photo booth can be fun. Alright, I'm keeping it. Anyways, back to programs. And I don't really think Windows has a counterpart to that. Um, iTunes, Windows has iTunes. iPhoto. iPhoto, I guess you could compare to uh, other photo album applications, i.e., uh, for example, Kodak easy share or photo share whatever it's called um, you know programs like that this is that and much more you can do screen uh, sorry slideshows I mean, all kinds of stuff and it's just a phenomenal program iMovie iMovie I guess you could say um, its counterpart on Windows would be Windows Movie Maker but Windows Movie Maker is nothing compared to iMovie 09. iMovie 09 is phenomenal and it's awesome. I, I just I love it. I've used 06, 08, 08 was okay, 06 was awesome, 09 awesome. And yeah, Windows Movie Maker does not compare. iDVD, to my knowledge I know there is Windows counterparts, but you have to buy them. 
if you buy a Mac, iDVD comes with it. And I don't know of any Windows program that is as easy to use as iDVD. Then there is GarageBand. GarageBand is a Mac only program. I've, I'm sure there is a Windows counterpart to some sort, but it never will be as good as GarageBand. It, it's an awesome program. It makes you, allows you to make loops like such. Anyways, allows you to make loops like that, and that took me maybe three minutes. But anyways, Pages, uh, Microsoft Word, Pages is a lot better though. Uh, you can export in PDF, Word, almost any format you want. Keynote, um, PowerPoint. PowerPoint has it. it has its advantages but for keynote for on a Mac it's a lot better than PowerPoint on a Mac and it's cheaper and the last one numbers Excel I don't really use it so I can't give you much of a comparison between Excel and numbers but if it's on a Mac it's probably a little better plus the iWork package is a lot cheaper than Microsoft Office for Mac Anyways, um, I have Skype, Handbrake. Handbrake is a video convert, uh, editing, uh, video converter. It just converts videos. It's free, and it works really well. <clears throat> and ScreenFlow. I know Windows has some uh, applications that do the such, but I don't believe they do as, uh, as well because. Every Windows user video I see, the audio is really quiet, or it, it just might be their setup, I don't know, but ScreenFlow works phenomenally. Well, that was a short little video on uh, Mac applications versus, well, not versus, but Windows to Mac. Like, if you're switching from Windows to Mac, this may help you out and let you know what some of the programs do. All right. Leave me a comment, send me a PM, get in touch with me if you need to. Let me know how I'm doing. Have a good day.